Europe 1944, over a year after Hitler's Nazi Germany suffered crippling defeats on the Eastern Front and the successful invasion by Allied forces on June 6th, Nazi forces were being pushed back and Hitler's dream of the future was slowly diminishing. Although the end was in sight, Hitler refused to accept this fact, and as the Fuhrer of the Nazi Reich, he forced Germany to continue to fight an unwinnable war. Although most high-ranking officials were still loyal to Hitler and continued with the war effort, there were some who were not. They wished to end any further needless bloodshed. One of the most well-known of the officials to oppose Hitler was Klaus von Stauffenberg. Von Stauffenberg served as a staff officer against Poland in 1939, France in 1940, and Russia in 1941. Von Stauffenberg was first approached about joining a resistance against the Nazis by his uncle, but he refused, feeling it went against his oath as a military officer. But in 1942, von Stauffenberg started to lose faith in Hitler. Von Stauffenberg did not approve of the treatment given to the Jews as he was Catholic and felt it went against his religious morals. He also did not approve of Hitler's seemingly unsatisfiable thirst of war and his military incompetence when it came to strategizing. Because of these reasons, von Stauffenberg was influenced to join a group working against the Nazi party in 1942. In 1943, von Stauffenberg was driving between units to direct the movement in Tunisia when P-54 fighter bombers from the Desert Air Force strafed his vehicle being severely wounded. After spending three months in the hospital, he lost his left eye, his right hand, and two fingers on his left hand. After he turned to duty, his fellow conspirators Ludwig Beck, Major General Henning von Treskow and Colonel General Friedrich Albrecht were able to place him in the replacement army, which was in Berlin. This allowed both von Stauffenberg and the other conspirators to plan an operation, codenamed Valkyrie, which was intended to overthrow the Nazi party. Planning and implementation of the operation spanned over a two-year period where von Stauffenberg placed troops loyal to the resistance in key positions to help overthrow the government after their assassination of Hitler succeeded. As the war situation worsened for Germany, von Stauffenberg hastened to perfect the plot to overthrow the government in hopes of preventing a Soviet invasion of Germany. With von Stauffenberg's military rank, he was given the opportunity to get close to Hitler during military conferences. Von Stauffenberg originally planned to meet with Hitler in Berchtesgaden, but the meeting was moved to the Wolf's Lair on July 20th, 1944, which was in Rostenburg, East Prussia. The assassination weapon of choice for von Stauffenberg was a plastic explosive hidden in his suitcase. He would leave the suitcase at the conference, and it would detonate when von Stauffenberg made his escape to move with the second phase of Operation Valkyrie. However, Colonel Heinz Brandt moved the suitcase out of the way to see a map during the conference. Little did Colonel Brandt know, moving the suitcase saved the Fuhrer's life. The conference table was made of oak, which shielded Hitler from most of the explosion. Hitler suffered only minor injuries. The most severe injury was temporary paralysis in one arm. The second phase of the operation was to overthrow the German government after Hitler's death. After the delivery of the bomb, von Stauffenberg traveled to Berlin to wait for the announcement of Hitler's death and then take over the government. Due to the failure of the bomb, no announcement of Hitler's death was given. This made von Stauffenberg start the second phase later than originally planned. Once it was clear that Hitler was indeed alive, General Fromm, a former conspirator, tried to distance himself from the crumbling plot by exposing both von Stauffenberg and Ulbricht. Von Stauffenberg and Ulbricht were immediately arrested and later that day executed. Seconds before his death, von Stauffenberg said, Long live our sacred Germany, as his last act of nationalism. After von Stauffenberg and Albrecht's execution, roughly 7,000 Germans who had either aided in the coup or had a connection to the plot in some shape or form were arrested, including General Fromm, who was also executed. Out of those 7,000 people, 5,000 of them would be executed or commit suicide. As a result of this, there was less resistance against Hitler's reign over Germany from German people as the biggest anti-Nazi group was dissolved. Even though Operation Valkyrie failed, it inspired other Germans to continue to do what they could to resist the Nazis' party. One popular method was sabotage of industrially manufactured goods, such as military clothing, military ordnance, logistical supplies, and many other items desperately needed for the Nazi war effort. 
Although German resistance was not as well known or profound as other resistances of the time period, it was equally as important and contributed greatly to the defeat of the Nazi Third Reich.